All right, hello everyone. It is uh, Friday, June 23rd. The time is 2.16 New York local time. This is going to be ICT tape reading practice three. Um, so we're coming up to the time between uh, coming up to London when my first uh, first trade trade time of the day is um, coming up. And uh, I just wanted to get some tape reading in. So uh, let's get in with the NASDAQ. I think the NASDAQ is drawing to the sell side. I think the NASDAQ is um, looking to draw down to this fair value gap here. We um, can see here, drawing a box on it. Um, I think that we're looking to take out um, tomorrow, uh, which is Friday. I think that price wants to come and draw down below 964 evens and maybe trade into this um, daily daily fair value gap. Um, the halfway point of that would be, um, what is that, 915 evens. So looking for sell side, a sell side draw on liquidity on the daily time frame on NASDAQ. Another product that I'm looking for is crude oil. I think that crude oil is uh, drawing lower as well. Um, so I think we're looking at more a sell side draw on crude oil. Um, I'm looking at the consequent encroachment of this wick from Thursday, the 4th of May. And I'm looking for price to want to come and uh, take out this Monday, 12th of June, um, New York. PM session low that we formed here at uh, 66 spot nine eight price should be price should be drawn to that liquidity so I'm looking for sell side on um, crude oil and then uh, I'm not looking at a whole lot more than Nasdaq and crude oil but uh, another honorable mention here is going to be silver so silver is currently working in a weekly fair value gap so we've traded down into it. And it's difficult for me to say if it wants at this point to go lower. Um, I think with uh, with the dollar index probably going up higher, it probably does want to continue to go down. Um, let's talk about the dollar index and let's take a look at our daily time frame. So dollar index traded into a volume imbalance here and is now has found support off that and is now trading higher. And so we're probably looking at seeking liquidity um, after finding an inefficiency. We're probably going to look for liquidity on the dollar. And I think the first reasonable liquidity target would be Thursday, 15th of June's um, London PM high, London PM high. So this would be our pre-market high. Be plenty of liquidity up there. So I think the dollar index is drawing higher. Um, I'm thinking uh, 103 spot 272 might get taken out on Friday. So I'm looking for higher on the dollar index. And finally, 30-year uh, bonds. So 30-year bonds, um, I think that it's going to trade uh, in synchrony with the dollar index. And what I'm looking for in terms of our draw on liquidity is I'm looking for this, um, looking for Thursday, 22nd, 22nd of June's uh, New York, excuse me, London, London, uh, let me actually see. I'm going to go down 30 minute. Yeah, this is a New York AM high here, and that's sitting at 127 spot 28 on the 30 year bond. I actually got um, my execution here on my top step account was in my Asian time frame, so my Asian setup time frame. So I was following my own rules here. Um, it is possible that the 30 year bond wants to come all the way up and take out London PM's high. Um, but I'm not going to call on that just yet. But I do think that we're drawing higher on the 30 year bond. Now, take a look at our hourly time frame and this box here. So this long wick is um, inefficient, inefficient and inefficiency. And so price might want to come up and re re deliver this inefficiency that's sitting up here. So that was an inefficiently delivered price um, between 127 spot 25 and 128 spot 10. So price might be interested in coming up and retrading into this long wick inefficiency on the 30 year bond. So um, just to give you a quick recap of my video here, this ICT tape reading practice three, um, I'm looking for a draw liquidity higher on the 30 year bond. 
I mind you, everyone, I just want to remind you that um, I do not trade outside of my setup times. So I'm waiting for London to open here in 30 minutes before I actually execute any trades. I'm just getting in some tapering practice. Yeah, 30 year bond traded into this fair value gap that was sitting below Wednesday's New York AM high. So we found support there and we traded down into an order block here on the left. So I'm thinking it might want to come back down, trade back into this fair value gap here, might even want to take me into some drawdown and then move higher. Um, so I'm thinking that this fair value gap here that we traded back into, I'm hoping that it inverts. So trades down, comes back up in it and then inverts. So I'm looking for support to be found here at 127 spot 04. I'm looking for this fair value gap to invert. That'd be an ICT inverted fair value gap and then go seek liquidity higher on 30 year bond. Um, crude oil. Again, I'm looking for lower prices, a draw lower on crude oil. And NASDAQ, I'm looking for a draw on liquidity also lower. So um, that's going to be it. Just wanted to get in a quick tape read prior to um, the London setup time. So I will be trading during London, and these are the things that I'm looking for. I'm not uh, obviously executing until we get to London. But uh, this has been ICT, Tape Reading Practice 3.